Hi everyone, I am Arun Julka. Today we talk about nominal and effective rate of interest. Effective rate of interest or annual equivalent rate, one of the same thing. Now what do you mean by annual interest rate or effective annual rate of interest? The effective annual rate of interest is the interest rate that is actually earned or paid on an investment due to the result of compounding over a given time period. The formula for calculation of effective rate of interest is RE equals to 1 plus I whole ratio of power M minus 1 where I is R upon M. Here R in foot E effective rate of interest, R nominal rate of interest and M number of times nominal rate compounded in a year. If rate of interest compounded semi-annually, this implies M equals to 2. If interest rate compounded quarterly, this implies M equals to 4. Okay, now we will discuss what is the relationship between effective rate of interest and nominal rate of interest and how can we deduce the formula of effective rate of interest using nominal rate of interest. To derive the formula for effective rate of interest, we can say that if we invest P rupees right now at effective rate of interest RE for one year, we will get P into 1 plus RE after one year. Similarly, if we invest P rupees at a rate of interest R compounded M times in a year, so what is the value after one year? It is P multiplied by 1 plus I raised to the power M, where I is R upon M and M is number of times interest compounded in a year. Cancel P from the whole side, so 1 plus RE equals to 1 plus I whole raised to the power M and RE equals to 1 plus I whole raised to the power M minus 1. This is the formula of effective rate of interest. In this example, we want to calculate effective rate of interest which equivalent to nominal rate of 10% interest converted quarterly. In this question, we want to find out RE, effective rate of interest. R is given 10%, this implies 0.1 and M is 4 because interest compounded quarterly. We know that the formula of effective interest is 1 plus I whole is to the power M minus 1 where I is R upon M. One more example on effective rate of interest. Here we want to calculate effective rate of interest which is equivalent to nominal rate of 10% converted semi-annually. In this example, RE is unknown. Rate of interest is given 10%, this implies 0.1 and M equals to 2 because interest compounded semi-annually. We know that the formula of effective interest is 1 plus i whole is to the power m minus 1, where i is r upon m. A very practical example. In this example, X bank charges interest at the rate of 8.62% per annum compounded monthly, whereas bank Y charges interest at the rate of 8.75% per annum compounded semi annually. If you want to take loan, can you tell me that which bank is better from loan seeker point of view? First we take bank X and we want to calculate here effective rate of interest. R is given 8.62%. This implies 0.0862 and interest compounded monthly. Therefore, M equals to 12. We know that the formula of effective interest is 1 plus I whole is to the power M minus 1 where I is R upon M. Now we calculate effective rate of interest charged by bank Y. Here rate of interest is 8.75%. This implies R equal to 0.0875 and because interest compounded semi-annually, so M equals to 2. Apply same formula for effective rate of interest and put R equal to 0.0875 and M equals to 2 and after calculation we will get 8.94%. This implies the bank Y charges effective rate of interest 
One more example. A mine lender charges interest at a rate of rupees two per hundred rupees per month, payable in advance. What effective rate of interest does he charge per annum? Now we calculate RE, effective rate of interest. Here I is two by ninety eight by ninety eight because we are giving interest of rupees two in advance and we are using only ninety eight rupees in a month. If this two rupees payable at the end of the month, then I is two by hundred. But here two rupees payable in advance, that's why I is two by ninety eight and interest compounded monthly. Therefore, M equals to twelve. We know that. The formula of effective rate of interest is one plus i whole raised to the power m minus one. Here i is two by ninety eight and m is twelve. Put value of i and m in formula and we'll get 